Hi, Archie. I thought you might like to go for a walk in the woods with me. These are Dutchman's Bridges. They're up on the hillside. And out there is the valley behind my house. You can see the Mackinac River. We'll take a walk. There's still a little bit of daylight left, so you're gonna see patches of sunshine. Also the beautiful spring colors as the trees are filling out. This tree was blown down in the wind and some of the trees have seen similar fates up here on the top of the ridge. It's a special place, a very special place. The property is not ours, or wasn't, is not ours, or mine, but it's right behind my property. And it's a pleasant place to go for a walk. So I thought you might like to come along. I won't go too far back. I'll just give you a sense of what the ridge is like. Then we'll walk back to my house. You can see the river down there. There was a lot of damage to trees over the winter because of the ice. So I'll step real carefully, but along the way I'll enjoy the wildflowers. During the day, a lot of these tree, these flowers open up. This is all also good place to hunt for mushrooms. As you can see the river, you can also see the gravel road. There's travel, traffic back there. A lot of times the wildlife come up the hillside from the river in the morning and then they would go right through our yard and take our driveway as a highway to the lake. There's wildflowers out here and poison ivy. Don't really have too much trouble with the poison ivy right now, but it can be a real problem if you're sensitive to it later in the season. Neighbors came over. I had a bonfire going. We had 
a couple of bud lights. One of the things I'll be looking for as I travel on this path are any deer prints. I've seen a few, but I was hoping to see some really clear ones to share with you. Up here is a grove of May apples on the ground. They're a small spring flower in Illinois. I'll take a close up in a minute. Oh, here's some tracks. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Interesting. Like I said, these are the May apples. Now what has been a typical harbinger of the mushrooms in Illinois is when the May apples have a fruit between the types of flowers like this one right here. Let's see if I can get a good picture of it. Eh, I'm not doing a good job. Right there. This particular May apple has two leaves. And between the leaves, you see that green bud? It'll open up and be white, almost like the flowering apple trees. Now when that bud turns white, turns into a full flower, that's an indication that the mushrooms are probably popping up out here in the woods. I showed you the Dutchman's britches, some spring beauties that aren't in full bloom right now because it's close to evening. There's also a wild flower called Trillium. I don't have a good picture of it yet. We'll walk just a little further down the trail. Way down the trail. The neighbors said they saw a turkey in the yard on Tuesday. He works from home. And he's an avid fisherman and hunter. So now I'm going to head back to the house. Once again, I'll scan the valley. And you can see the gravel road back there. All right. Take a quick trip back. It's so quiet up here. That's a great place just to come and relax and think about things. Like I said, it's getting close to sundown, so the colors aren't real bright. 
Right here, in fact, is one of the trillium. It's got three leaves. Let's see if I can capture it and, yeah, you know, these wild things, wild things. I'm using my new camera for the first time, so, oh, there we go. That's a trillium. Now, this will give you an idea of where my house is in comparison. Right there. We'll go over that way real quick. Don't want to go too fast, though. There's a lot to trip over. You might be able to see the bob wire fence. And there to the right is a pile of wood. One day we'll have a bonfire. We're back to the cluster of Dutchman's britches. And you might not be able to see them real clearly, but there's also a grove of May apples right here. So this is my yard and where I had the bonfire in the fire pit. Got patio furniture and a umbrella. I've also got a gazebo of sorts. The boys put that up for us so that if we wanted to be outside we could be surrounded by mosquito netting. There's one other cute little grove of violets in the corner of this tree that survived the lawnmower today. And like I said, there's my patio furniture on the back patio, a sliding glass door, and the gazebo. One other thing I'm pretty sure you'll be interested in. as I take it very slowly down the hill. Although the grandkids love rolling down the hill or running up and down the hill or this, that, or something else. I'm 
Yep, that's right. Two Bud Light right there. And a time for a bonfire real soon. Now as I scan up to the neighbor's house, through the woods right now you can see their house. But in another couple of weeks it'll all be leafed out. So there you have it. <coughs> Don't want to make you dizzy trying to watch this. Get it down to regular size. Come on. There we go. It's been a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. I had some help getting all the grass mowed and trimmed up. And there's one for you and one for me. All right. Love you. Talk to you later. Bye, Archie.